a short video to show you a real design uh, of a surface coil, which includes a coil element. As you can see here in red, the tuning rod, the matching rod, and the, the BNC connector. This connector here uh, is what's called the acronym BNC. I actually don't know what that stands for, but um, you've probably you're probably familiar with a BNC cable, uh, maybe from uh, connecting your your cable TV or uh, it's a very anyway it's a very common uh, coaxial cable uh, with a 50 ohm impedance. So let me just take away some of these some of these layers here uh, so that we can look at the inner innards. So if you remember from the lecture notes, we looked at the matching network. So what I'm showing here, the, and that the, that matching network had an adjustable capacitors. So the adjustable capacitors in the circuit here are these these purple disks or these purple cylinders. Okay, and these these uh, these kind of the silvery blocks here are used to fix the capacitors in place because they're being um, these are of course adjustable capacitors so they're they're being turned by a shaft the the adjustment in capacitance is done by turning the shaft here so there's a force you know when you turn the shaft there's going to be a force on the capacitor so you need to fix the capacitor to the circuit board tightly um, so basically, what I would just want, to want what I wanted to show you is just the matching network. So uh, you have the two capacitors here. Here is the BNC cable it would come in here, and this eventually would be, although it's not shown here as being soldered down. This little piece here of this connector would have a wire soldered to this this kind of a, a, a copper bus so that would carry the power from the RF amplifier onto the circuit and eventually into the coil itself. So in our coil circuit diagram this is L, this is the inductor. Uh, this again, this is the capacitive matching network and the the coil actually has some resistance in it so what we have here is our resonant RLC circuit. Uh, in dimensions, this is, let's see, each one of these, I don't, know, I don't know how well you can see these squares, but each square here is one centimeter, each large square, and the very minute squares is one millimeter. So one, two, three, four. This is about four centimeters long. So this whole design here is about six or seven centimeters long. Um, so some other little nuances about this design. You can see here these legs are, are designed to kind of hold it, to, to extend the coil part of this circuit away from the base because if because we, what we want to do is have the internals protected. So if I protect them again by this box, kind of this plastic box, now I need to have the <clears throat> coil away from that box. But one one issue with these legs here is that they don't add anything. You know, they really just take away from the quality of the of the image. So it's important to keep if you're going to design a circuit like this, it's important to keep these legs as short as possible. And so this little block of plastic here, I just have it uh, there as kind of a support structure so that when this is on, this, uh, this the coil isn't easily bent up and down. So the application of this would be, <coughs> uh, you can envision uh, putting this coil over the, for example, the brain of a mouse or the brain of a rat. Uh, or you could even do uh, something like uh, other other organs in small animals, such as the heart. So that's it. If you have questions about this, 
uh, please let me know and I will answer them as best I can. Thank you.